With all the intense back-to-back -back updates upsetting the pro community over and over, a crazy new update is upon us. It finally happened. Is Fortnite headed in the right direction? Epic said they're adding bots to the game. Yes, you heard it right, bots. Innocence saying, if this skill-based matchmaking isn't a 1 to 50 leveling system with EXP, I don't care. Daquan and DK had some laughs, and Daquan actually believes that skill-based matchmaking could be coming to Fortnite? What do you guys think? Is Fortnite finally going to listen to us? Is everything finally coming together, or is Epic just trolling us yet again? What's up guys, it's Superman Dan, and in today's video, we're going to be doing our first segment of the State of Fortnite series. We're going to be discussing the current meta, trends, possible things we think could occur. Basically, everything you need to know about competitive Fortnite. We'll try to release these videos every two weeks or so, so stay tuned. No, this isn't us turning into a news channel or anything, so don't worry, all the best tips and tricks will continue as usual. But right before we hop into all the latest news, you guys know what's next, right? I mean, come on, what's a video without visiting ProGuides.com? So check that out! Click the link in the description for on-demand 24-7 coaching straight to you from the pros. We added all new meta pages and are always updating our site, so check that out and drop a massive like on the video for more fantastic Pro Guides content. So recently, we've seen Epic add a ton of new changes, ultimately playing with our heads. I mean, can we actually rely on Epic? Comment down below what you guys think about Epic. Oh boy, this one's about to get funny. We have crazy new leaks, including the possibility of a new mode, new map, and even possibly a new layout system. This all seems super awesome, but is there a twist to it? Is Epic just going to give us everything we want in one ultimate update? Some people believe Epic might just be toying with us, getting us all hyped up again, and others think they might actually be changing things up. I will say the last few updates weren't exactly bad, but they look like they can actually make things great. And it's what we're all hoping for. Now heading on over to our first update, we have the bot edition. Epic just announced they would officially be adding bots to the map. Crazy, right? I mean, think of you as a beginner in the lobby with 90 other players that aren't real but seem real. That's the perfect system for newer players. We've seen time and time again people complaining about coming to the game and getting absolutely stomped on by better players, but there are so many aspects and it isn't as simple as you guys think. So if Epic is just now adding bots, then how do you explain this? Deal breaker for a mice for me. I mean, I could just be seeing things, but that looks like an AI to me. The movement, the precision, everything just seems totally bot-like. I mean, there's a very good chance Epic already had these bots in the game, but are deciding to go public about it in Season 11. While everything does seem awesome for competitive, you won't believe what this can cause. I mean, if all the beginners get pinned up against bots, does that mean that there's going to be bots with different skill levels for better players? It's all too good to be true. I mean, what do you guys think about this? Fortnite did say in their article post, bots will work in conjunction with the new matchmaking system, and as your skill improves, you'll face fewer bots. What exactly does this mean? This still doesn't tell us what we want to hear. Is there going to be bot skill levels? Hypex, a prominent Fortnite leaker, posted this video, showing an alleged bot from Season 8 doing 90s. Let's check it out. If that's what a bot looks like in action back then, I don't even want to imagine what its 90s look like now. The bot actually might make Mongrel look like a bot. I mean, imagine just seeing an AI come up to you and destroy you like it was Mongrel. Imagine one of your favorite pros getting clobbered by an AI who can anticipate, outplay, and outmaneuver him. Think of being killed by a player and not knowing they're bots. So some of you might be wondering, will they add AI with different skill sets for different modes? We already know that Fortnite said they're adding it to core modes, so there's a really good chance bots will still be present in arena code game modes. I don't know how many points you'll need to have to not have them there, but they will definitely be there. This may come as disappointing to some, but don't worry, Epic always has a plan, right? Or maybe not, lol. I'll probably be shocked if they don't bother adding bots to Arena Playlist. Anyways, look at what Nick A30 replied with. Nick thinks that the system for determining where bots should be played should look something like this, deciding which lobbies get bots based on the number of games played. I mean, I must say, the range would need to be a lot bigger than that to fill lobbies, but it's a great start. So tell me, do you guys agree with him? He thinks there should be a specific limit for the number of games played for bots to be in the lobbies. It seems like a pretty good idea considering that's not a foolproof way to gauge skill level, but it definitely helps filter out newer players. 
And check out what Liquid Chap went and said, adding bots will allow new players to actually learn the game. So it looks like a lot of pros agree with this idea. It can actually be suitable for Fortnite if they do it right. But what hope do we have? We've seen them do some pretty clunky things in the past, but who knows, Fortnite may actually be able to bring it back. All we can do is hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Now, heading on to the final topic that we have for competitive is squads coming very soon. Another insane new change to the competitive scene is the addition of squads as the new competitive mode. We went through duos, trios, and now, finally, we are at squads. I mean, I don't know how many of you guys have been playing since the early seasons when squad snipes was a thing, but I remember how fun those times were. Ninja, Mr. Grimm's, CDN, all vying for that number one spot in these OG competitive lobbies. So what do you guys think of squads as an addition for season 11? I mean, there are a few main problems that squads can pose, but you and I both know that pros can quickly adapt. There are only a few spots with a large amount of loot, and most of the places are more spread out. So with all the pros announcing their squads, we have some tightly contested picks. Just looking at a couple of them here, I can tell things are going to get fierce. Zexro, Klix, Macwood, and Kalk, and Zate, Saf, Booga, and Stretch. So many insane squads pairing up, it's going to be really interesting. So guys, tell me what mode you guys think was the best. Solos, duos, trios, or squads? I just think pros love rolling with the flow, and as long as things don't get mixed up too often, competitive will live on. So the question is, how well will it work for competitive? Do you guys like this new mode? Is squads actually a good thing for competitive, or will it get really messy? And I mean, the mech's still in the game, that's a mega yikes. We saw what pros did with the mech and trio. They actually were tarping with the mech on top. That was actually insane to watch and very unhealthy for the game, considering in squads, two people can cover and two can rain down on any enemies. Epic needs to understand that any update they add to the game can very heavily be abused by pro players. So before they add a new update, at least separate casual from competitive. I mean, literally think of how many games were ruined due to mechs, and it's not even a matter of adapting, it's about integrity. So hopefully Epic does it this time with Season 11. We're all hoping they make things fun again, enjoyable, like during the first few seasons of Fortnite. We'd all love for that to come back. Now let's head on over to some recent leaks and Season 11 hype that we're all waiting for. Fortunately for us, this update included an all-new controller sensitivity settings layout in the version 10.40 patch. All I know is that the layout looks clean, smooth, and much easier to understand. What do you guys think of it? It really gives the whole design a new feel and adds a less tweaky style of settings, but it's actually a lot more straightforward than it looks. We'll be making a video soon covering everything you guys need to know and all the updated settings for controllers. Now the banger, aim assist changes. Yikes, wasn't expecting this one. Epic literally said they're removing L2 spam. That's a massive blow to controller players. I mean, controller players literally level the playing field with L2 spam. Some argue it's overpowered, while others don't. Comment down below your thoughts on aim assist. Wait till you hear what they said. We've implemented a new aim assist system that calculates targets in screen space, which allows a more consistent feel regardless of that talent's range. This new system applies different aim assist strengths based on that target's distance from the reticle. Aim assist now tracks multiple targets and will apply assistance based on a weighting algorithm. We have also removed the ability to use target snapping, aka left trigger spam. With these new aim assist improvements, we no longer feel it's necessary. Lastly, crosshairs now turn red while pointed at an enemy target that is within effective range, which is any time before damage drop-off is applied. Seems we'll just have to wait and see how this plays out. Aiden isn't exactly happy with this change. He said, now that L2 spamming is gone, who can agree with me that Epic nerfed L2 overtime without saying anything in patch notes because that used to be so good and then over time it became terrible. What do you guys think of this change? I mean, Epic has been known to secretly nerf things. We've seen it happen with the mech, turbo building, and many other things. I mean, in the current state of Fortnite, can you actually blame the pros for being annoyed? Can you? Thousands of people's games being ruined by foolish bugs and updates Epic hasn't fixed. We've asked time and time again for updates and haven't gotten any substantial replies, so is this time for Epic to finally make Fortnite the best game of all time? I really think Epic can turn things around for Season 11. What do you guys think? Some other fantastic things to look forward to in Season 11 is that we may actually be getting a new competitive mode. If you guys checked out the last video, we showed sprays that were labeled Zone Wars, so that very well could be an indication of a new mode named Zone Wars. Epic also added this fantastic new mode where you get to warm up your aim, sort of like a creative version of Kovacs. Of course, some people will still argue Kovacs is better, but for the most part, this works great. Now, when it comes to competitive practice, remember all those times practicing having to actually find people to grind them out with you? We will probably be getting an official mode for that. 
I mean, imagine all the best maps out there, like Zone Wars, aim training maps, even creative course maps in official playlists. I sort of see why Epic wants to add bots, because if they do end up adding a load of new stuff, what will they do about players being dispersed across so many playlists? And last but not least, you won't believe it, but we actually do think mechs will get vaulted in Season 11. The only reason Epic kept them in the game, well, we know why, but they would always hide behind the fact that mechs are part of the Fortnite storyline, meaning there's a really high chance they remove them from the game. I mean, based on all the vibes we've been getting, it really looks like the new map will be space-themed. From looking at the battle bus flying away and the new Alien 51 skin, mechs won't seem to have a role if the map changes. Or will they? Anyways, that's it for the video guys, hope you enjoyed it, be sure to check out ProGuys.com and don't forget to like, subscribe and make sure you turn on all the notifications for all of our latest videos. We're continually keeping you guys updated with all the most recent strategies to help you all get better. So once again, this is Dan and if you want to follow me on social, you can find me at, at Daniel Ammerman. See you on the next one.